All right, so this next memory device is to help you remember the side effects of anticholinergics. So what is an anticholinergic? I just want to explain that really quickly. And I found a really great definition on Wikipedia that I thought was just the most concise, best way to explain it. So I'm just going to read that real quick. So an anticholinergic agent is a substance that blocks the neurotransmitter acetylcholine in the central and peripheral nervous system. They inhibit parasympathetic nerve impulses by selectively blocking the binding of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine and its receptor in the nerve cells. The nerve fibers of the parasympathetic system are responsible for the involuntary movement of smooth muscles present within the GI tract, lungs, urinary tract, etc. So there's a lot of different uses for anticholinergics. You might even not realize some of the meds you're using yourself or giving um, to your patients is an anticholinergic. Um, they are given for GI issues, urinary issues, respiratory issues. The atropine is actually a big one that we give for symptomatic bradycardia. Um, insomnia, dizziness, that kind of stuff. Some some meds, um, let's see, I wanted to ex just tell you a few of the meds. So Benadryl, that's a pretty um, well-known one. Um, let's see, Wellbutrin, that's an interesting one. Atropine, Cogentin, just a ton of different ones that are out there. Like the list is pretty surprising. So anyways, the mnemonic though, for side effects. As you can imagine, this like anticholinergics really affect a lot of systems of the body, so you can have a lot of um, uh, side effects from these medications. Um, so the memory device is you can't see, you can't pee, you can't spit, and you can't shit. <laughs> I should have done a little uh, uh, disclaimer there. That wasn't going to be the most uh, politically correct one, but you won't forget it, right? So you can't see. Blurred vision is a side effect. You can't pee. Urinary retention. You can't spit. You have dry mouth. And you can't go to the bathroom. Constipation. So that that's a way to remember your side effects for anticholinergics. And another one. So as you can imagine, if you're getting anticholinergics or cholinergics, actually, in this, I'm going to talk about a cholinergic crisis. So the signs and symptoms that go along with a cholinergic crisis, sludge. And if you, these actually, surprisingly enough, are the kind of opposite of your anticholinergic issues. So sludge, S, salvation. L, lacrimation, so that's excessive tears, U, urination, D, defecation, G, gastric upset, and E, emesis. So if you think of like anticholinergics are kind of drying things up, cholinergics are kind of lubricating everything, okay? So let me just go through that again. Sludge, S, salvation, L, lacrimation, U, urination, D, defecation, G, gastric upset, and E, emesis. So you just got things coming out of everywhere. So that's kind of how you remember the two. Um, anticholinergic kind of dries things up. And cholinergic crisis or um, kind of, you've got stuff coming out of everywhere. Out of uh, your eyes, um, their bowels, their bladder, um, their mouth, uh, both emesis. Um, and salvation just got a lot going on kind of a messy uh, situation there with your uh, cholinergic crisis so that's what you want to be thinking about when you're thinking anticholinergic and cholinergic how to differentiate the two this has been another episode of the nursing mnemonics podcast by nrsng.com with your host katie kleber rn ccrn to grab all of our nursing cheat sheets head over to nrsng.com slash freebies that's nrsng.com slash freebies thank you so much for being here today we love you guys we thank you so much we want to see you guys succeed listen we're all in this together now go out and be your best self today happy nursing